Well, good morning. I have promised to do a hair tutorial for quite some time now, and I am actually going to do it. Several people have asked for my curly hair tutorial. Interestingly enough, I'm not gonna do my straight hair tutorial because <laughs> no one's ever asked for it um, or any of the other ways that I wear my hair because no one's ever asked for them. Now, do y'all really follow a lot of people that do tutorials around the middle of it? They go, I can't, I can't. Cause you do now. Y'all are gonna see what products I use and you're gonna think that I have a paid <laughs> sponsorship with these two companies because everything I use is theirs. I don't, but I'm willing to talk. Um, this is Moroccan Air, Moroccan oil treatment. Um, for all hair types, I always squeeze one full thing into my hand like that, and I rub it through my hair, and this keeps my ends. Um, first of all, it makes it really, I, my hair tangles bad, does y'all? Then I brush my tangles out with this. You wanna joke about it? Go ahead. All my friends laugh, but this is what I use. This one in particular, I've had since about the 10th grade. The next thing I use in my hair, this is the Moroccan Oil Smoothing Lotion. Okay. <sighs> Lest you think we were done with Moroccan Oil, we're not. I don't always remember to use this and I always notice when I don't. This is the Moroccan Oil Curl Defining Cream. On the back, they describe it as memory foam for curls, which is just, by the way, genius marketing. I noticed that if I don't use this, my second and third day curls don't quite do as good as I would like. But if I use this, man, I can I can run a curling wand back through these on the second and third day and they just spring up. I really like this stuff. If that looks like too much product for you, I'm sorry. This is probably not the hairstyle for you. One of the things that makes this hairstyle just work, it makes it big and it makes it full and it makes it PC, is the product. You're gonna have to put a lot of product in your hair. And if you're one of those all natural girls, um, we can't be friends. Now we're moving on to my second sponsorship that I'm looking for. If you're out there, big sexy hair. Um, this is the Root Pump Plus. This is really just for those root lines, okay? So I try to part it with my finger and give some of those root lines, okay? Um, what I care about is how I style it from here up, from here to here. That's what I care about. I want lift. This, this is going to be handled in the fixing, okay? So keep going. Now I'm going to start worrying about my roots. Um, this is not super scientific. This is what I do. Are you ready? Are you taking notes? Here we go. I hold them up. That's the trick. But it's hard. You have to have a lot of upper body strength. Y'all probably don't have it, but I do. It's working. Now, I want to tell you one trick that I did. Remember how I told you that I want to part my hair this way today? I'm going to do a dramatic part. I'm going to do it this way. Then make sure you blow dry it this way. Right? Now we're gonna make it go back over this way. And that's what you get. Look at that. When you blow it dry this way and then you brush it over, you're gonna get this lift at the crown and that's exactly what you want. Okay, I have to stop now and go do Rise and Red Key. <laughs> the people that watch our morning show, they are the luckiest sons of God on the planet, aren't they? Okay, I'm back. I uh, just finished Rising Radke. I came over to the house and yes, I put my makeup on because I do not know why, but my entire life, I don't feel like my hair looks good if my makeup is not done. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh, what came first is 
my makeup. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I do use a heat shield. I did not think that this used to be important, but honestly, the older I get and the years add up on your hair with coloring and blow drying and using a wand and... I, I now realize the importance of a heat shield. Find you a good heat shield. I'm actually using a launch heat shield, which I really like. I also like that it dries quickly. I spray it all over my hair. The launch girls always go, oh, it smells so good. I actually don't notice that it smells that great. What are you gonna do about it? Here we go. I've got my, my heat shield in my hair. It is already dry, ready to be uh, curled. Now let's talk about what I use. So. Let's say you wanna do this curly PC thing that I do, but your hair is short like mine. I have wands of every shape and size, but the one that I have found that works best for this length hair is this one. It's not expensive, you guys. It is Conair. That might be, that might be um, Conair. Is that backwards? I don't know. Conair U-Curl. The Conair U-Curl. I'll put in the um, post above what the size of it and everything is. I'll find it exactly. I'll even maybe like tag it for Amazon but because that's where I got it. The Conair U-Curl. It is not expensive. I think it was like $28, if even that. Um, I like it. It works on mine. If, if I'm... Um, it, it's just, it's going to be easier than these with, with a big thick wand. You, you can't hardly get anything around it. It's just, your hair is too short. Okay. I also like the fact that, you know, I can go up. If I want my curls bigger, I'm going to go up here. If I want them a little smaller, I'm going to go down here, which can also. Create more of a PC, uneven natural look, I guess. Um, I want to tell you that I'm using the most expensive top of the line flat iron, but I do not like my curls with my flat iron as well as I like them with it. My hair's thick, so we're going to section it off. The first thing I do. I know. This is intricate, guys. Don't try to keep up with me. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to go down. I'm going to wrap up at the top. See that? and I'm gonna leave about an inch off. Now I left it on for about four, I do four Mississippi. Um, and then I tug it, and then I let it go. Okay, here we go, a wrap. Uh, you can actually go this way now if you want. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. I slip it out this way and I tug. A lot of people are like, you must do every other one a different way. The ones on from at the front of your face, you're gonna turn away from your face. And then after that, you need to curl forward and then you need to curl back. Screw that. What? Who has got time to keep up with that? My kids are coming in and out of my bathroom. I don't know what I just did. I, I don't make a big deal about making sure it's all perfect and spaced out. I ain't got no time for that. Here we go. One Mississippi. Why am I counting like that? Four Mississippi. Slide it out and pull down. Oh, but Melissa, you already went that way. I, did I? I don't know if I did or not, and I don't care. See, this is why I shouldn't be doing a tutorial for you guys. I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. I just take it out and uh, push it down. Also, sometimes we'll grab big pieces of hair, and then sometimes like, little thin strips of hair, cause I wanna, and I do what I want. Remember that video of that girl, that that little 12 year old girl where half of her hair burned off when she used to curl in one? And tug. That's because in the video, I just watched it the other day in the video, she, she said, now when I do it, when I wrap my hair around this wand, I leave it on for about 20 seconds. 20 seconds? Amber. Let me tell you something. If you're leaving this on 20 seconds, you leaving it on too long. Be careful here around your ears. And if you're like, Melissa, I just can't use those ones. I burn myself. Such is the price of beauty. Get over it. I'm just literally picking at random pieces. Some I'm going one way. Some I'm rolling them the next. I mean, I'm telling you guys. Ow! Ow! <laughs> and that can happen too. I want my hair in the back at this root to have some left. So I'm gonna a little bit closer than I normally would. 
See how close I'm getting that? Okay. And I roll it out and I tug. And twist. I'm getting down there kind of close to that root. Inch off. Hold it. And release. Look, don't leave it like that. Tug that out. This around the face. Definitely go away from your face. So help me God, if I see any of y'all curl this towards your face, I'm coming at you. I'm coming at you. Okay, and tug. Y'all hear that music? That's my daughter. She's homesick from school and she's watching the Mindy Project in the other room. Well, says, isn't your daughter only 13 and you're letting her watch the Mindy Project? Yes, because I'm still her parent. Perhaps my parenting can be on the next tutorial. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all could never keep up. Don't touch any of your curls. Do not touch any of your curls until you are completely finished curling all of your head. Don't you dare touch them, don't. Don't start with that, wait, this one didn't get, no, you can do that in a second. My gosh, I have to tell y'all everything. I say you only fix the back of your hair if you're gonna be sitting in a funeral or a church service. People are gonna be sitting behind you. It's hard because your hair is short back there. Ow. No, that'll happen sometimes. I'll be right back. I'm changed for the day. My curls have sat here for about 10 minutes and now I'm going to do one of two things. You can brush them out. When you brush them out, it's gonna give them a much more sleeker look and then you can style like you want, okay? So we could just brush them out. It gives them a little more smooth look and then you can kind of tease them the way you want them. Or you can just do it with your fingers, but you better be, you better do it a lot with your fingers, okay? So that's kind of what I, what I do. I just go in and I shake them up. Now, I don't want any doo-doo rolls left in my hair. And if I think that I see any, I break them apart. This one back here, okay, see this one? It's not unrolling for me for whatever reason. So just kind of rat it. <laughs> Okay, that is it. Here's the time when you look and see, do I have anything that I uh, wanna touch up more? So see how a lot of the ends where I left them an inch, they, they look uncurled. Now to a lot of people, they would go, no, don't touch that, I love that. I don't know why, but it drives me crazy. So I just feel like right in here, in this section, I need a little more, and so that's okay. So I'll come and I'll just pick up a random piece. I'm just gonna pick up that right there. And I'm just gonna get it a little more curled towards the end. Okay, now the last step, and I'm telling you guys it's another product that you're about to put in your hair, but I love it. Also from Big Sexy Hair, is from the Sexy Hair line, is called Texture Spray. Listen to this. That stuff comes out like a mug, okay? Be prepared. But I love it. So here's what I do. I just take it, I hold my hair up, and I spray underneath it. Hold my hair up, spray underneath it. Hold my hair up, spray underneath it, and then I just shimmy it into my hair. I like it up here. Um, it's done, but here's the deal. I'm from Texas, and we like big hair. I know what you're thinking. That's not big. It is. But is it big enough? So, I take my teasing comb. Yo, shut up with your laughter, okay? And I want more lift right here in the root. I'm just gonna wrap those ends up, okay? A little bit, wrap them up. Wrap them up, 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 wrap them up, 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 wrap them up, 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 I'm on fire. Okay, there it is. Now, I like the um, kind of the, what do you call it, the uneven sides? I like that look, but my sides are even right now. What, how you do that? Whatever side your bangs are going towards, push back the other side. And I just pull those curls out over it, and it gives a little of that bilateral look. Okay, that's it. Last thing is to spray it. Why don't I do more tutorials? Why? Um, nothing happened and you're weird for thinking something happened. Okay. Sometimes I want my uh, bangs really lifted and sometimes I want them a little bit more in my face. Today, the Indian food truck is coming to town. So I think I'm gonna wear my bangs in my face. <laughs> 
so here is your hair tutorial. This is it. I'm ready for the day and I don't have a lot going on, but I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the Indian food truck. <laughs> so if you see me there. <sighs> so this is it. This has been your hair tutorial. I can't imagine y'all would want a tutorial for anything else, but I think I'm pretty good at this. I don't want hair that's perfectly polished. You want hair that looks like you woke up and had morning sex. <laughs> and we all know we didn't because that is the worst. Oh, in the morning? Oh my gosh. That's a whole nother tutorial.